And since you want to bring that motorsport shit up again, I'm glad you brought it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute. First of all, you changed your verse two or three times and the day before... We were supposed to do the motorsport video. You turned in your last verse of it. And I was not feeling of you talking about, oh, if Cardi the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi, following it up with bitch you, my son, go sit on a party. Bitch, you not my coach because you never helped me to get in this fucking career. And I'm nothing like you. So you, I'm definitely not your fucking son. I'm a real ass person. You not. So fuck out of here. And I called you that night. Oh, and I got the receipts, babe. All right. There's my phone. I'm going to my camera. That I went all the way up, October 22nd, this was your number, I called you twice, and you didn't answer. No, show you, show you, show you, it's from the beginning. And I told my label, I'm not doing the video if she don't change her verse. And then my thing is, if you had a problem that I went on the radio and I said that you changed your verse, which you did, which I'm not lying, sis, you had a whole six months to call my phone and talk about it like a grown-ass woman. Or you could have hit up Quavo so we could link up like the first time that we linked up and talk about shit in L.A. But no, you waited a whole six months when you dropped the single to talk about it. How convenient is that? Wow. How convenient is fucking that?